I want to read to you a poem that I call the poem to end all war. One morning I was awakened around 5 a.m. It was a day I was planning on going to a mountaintop with some children and beating a drum with them. Anyway, I was inspired to write this poem. I must tell you a little about the situation. This mountain where I was going had a lot of, of uh, graffiti on the stones. And one of the rocks had a big sign on there of the swastika and the word rules by it. Anyway, I had friends who, while they were very loving people, they did hate people who would write stuff like this. And I was having a hard time dealing with people who love also hating things so bad. Anyway, that same week I had been given this drum by a friend of mine who said an Indian medicine man named Singing Bear had made this drum and had blessed it. So all of this was just inside of me, you know, wanting to see people give up the hate, wanting to beat this Singing Bear drum and to go to a beautiful mountain place. And so I was not surprised that God put it all together for me and gave me this creative ideal of this poem. So here it goes. We're standing here by this rock. It's message to proclaim. The one who wrote this message here, he has a call for fame. We're looking now with eyes of love, and we won't try to censor you. We know just what we are to do. Too long we've tried to use our hate to put you in your place. But that has only fanned the fire our hate was added to. And we know now what to do. We honor you. We lift you up. We want you to know you are a special, a chosen one. We've chosen you to love. In the past, we did resist the message on this stone. But all that did was add the fuel. It made the fire to grow until the fire grew oh so big. It threatened to destroy all of life upon this earth. Our hate would be what gave war birth. And fight we have for centuries now, for we felt justified to counter you with hate from us. And so we would destroy, we would censor you, discredit you, we'd show you we were tough. And so we learned to fight your way, and weapons, they piled up. We thought that we would silence you, we'd make you fear us too. We'd stop you any way we could, to use a bomb, yes, that we would. To poison you or starve you out, those words from our hearts we'd shout. We had so much fear of what you said, our hate was growing too. Until now, our world is closer to the possibility of war on such a great big scale. The aftermath would make life hell. And all the while, the gentle ones kept telling us to love. Oh yes, we said, we'd really love to put you in your place, even though our anger fired might destroy the human race. I didn't know just what to do, just how to make a stand, but now... Since I have talked to God, I'm working on His plan. And every day, my heart is opened a little wider. The way I see is spreading love so all can see. Oh, yes, I said, it can begin with me. And God said to me, just look around and find someone to love. And so I did. And loving people came into my life. They were all around. I saw their love and I saw their fear. It was in their hearts a flame, worry talk and condemnation for all those on this earth who talked of dropping bombs or planting landmines. Those precious ones who loved me so were suffering, and hate did grow in their hearts too. How can you not blame people for hating? It's so easy to see why people hate someone, like the one who wrote upon this rock, this swastika sign, and the word rules. We have to put people like that down why we're against everything that they stand for. But I have a rebel heart, and it was ticking away. Oh, no, I thought, this has been tried. We've done it over and over again. But all that happens is that it fans the flame of hate. Until we have a raging fire, it's burning in us, too, and we cannot put out that fire by adding to it, too. 
So every day I talk to God, oh, please give me a clue. Show me how to lift love up. It's easy, said God, the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And so one day I came across this mountain place to be, and all around on rocks galore I saw graffiti. How do we clean a lot of rocks? To do it would be such a pain, but it, but it's so ugly, and it desecrates this high mountain place I love. And God talked to me again. Look closer at the rocks you see. They are shouting so loud that you have to hear the rocks you see. Don't reject what they are saying when they're speaking of me. And so I noticed what people said on the rocks, and it was a love they wanted to proclaim. John loves Sue, Dick loves Jane. For ages now that rock would say their names together there proclaiming love. And sometimes a message on, on a rock was just that I was here. And then one day, while walking on the mountain reading rocks, I came across this message here written on this stone. Swastika rules, it said. I thought it probably written by someone they called a skinhead. And I started thinking hateful thoughts. Why do they think they are so superior? The nerve of them to think they are the chosen race. Then God showed me his little plan. Last night as I lay in my bed, what to do and where to go today, February the 21st, 1998, I'm going to celebrate. For today, I'm going to that rock. I'm giving up the hate. Some kids I'll take along with me. I'll teach them how to really see. And I'll take along the drum that Singing Bear made for me. For I have wanted him to know this white woman felt the blessing he put into the drum. And I would share the honor of beating a drum that's so much fun with kids. You know, I'm going to show them a way to love our enemy. For the rocks up there that have proclaimed proclaimed the love of one person for another, had taught me how strong the need is for us all to show our love. And this rock with a swastika was a rock that was a call for love. And that's just what we'll do. We want to lift this dear one up to tell him, yes, he's special, to tell him that he's chosen, for we've chosen him to love. We want to lift him higher. We want add to that fire that raged in him that day he wrote his message on this stone. For we know you don't put out fire with more fire of your own. So these kids and I, though we're just a few, you see, we know just what to do. Who knows, but what we do today won't make history. For it is so much fun just to drum and drum the heartbeat of our love. We honor the rock with a swastika. We know it is a cry for love. And we're noticing we finally see whoever you are. You're part of me. You're part of God. And we know that you are chosen, for we've chosen you to love. We heard your cry for love. Please, dear God, send the love we feel for this dear skinhead to wherever he or she may be. Let it be like a light that turns them on to love for all, but first of all themselves. We want this one to know that they are special, that they are chosen. No more hate, let's all create. So we are making flowers of pink and blue and yellow. We'll place them here around this rock. To some, it might be a shock that we could love the enemy. Go back and read your holy books. It says to love the enemy and not to judge. So we are not judging these words as bad, and we are not saying that they are good. We are just saying, we hear this cry for love. And it's so fun to be here today, making our flowers and beating the singing bear drum. For didn't they say, oh, the Indians knew. The drum beat was the heartbeat of the Mother Earth. And they said something about a sacred hoop that the white man had broken. And only he can mend it now, so the circle will be unbroken. May the circle be unbroken, not by and by, but now, in this holy instant now, this gift that is the present. And in conclusion, I would like to remind people that the swastika symbol is actually a very ancient symbol, symbol which represents the perpetual motion of the cosmos. So it's a very powerful symbol, and it's time we took it back 
for its real good meaning.